going to take a look at adverbs and we're taking a look at conjunctive adverbs. And we have said that conjunctive adverbs are connectors or transitional words. They connect to sentences. So conjunctive adverbs are also called sentence connectors or transitional words. They are commonly used in serious business and academic writing. They're fancy words, kind of. Okay, you use it when you are in your writing. So you want to sound formal. You want to sound like you know what you're talking about. Really fancy. It says, at conjunctive adverbs, join complete sentences. In grammar, we call those sentences independent clauses. Complete sentences. So a conjunctive adverb has a special punctuation. We have our independent sentence, a semicolon, our conjunctive adverb, comma, and our independent clause. Okay? We said that conjunctive adverbs can serve four purposes. They can show result, they can help us show contrast, they can help us add information, and they can help us show unexpected results. We are going to take a look at the ones that show results. So today we'll be looking at conjunctive adverbs to show results. The conjunctive adverbs are accordingly, as a result, therefore, consequently. So before we move on, let's remember the punctuation we use when we use conjunctive adverbs. Once again, we have an independent clause, a semicolon, a conjunctive adverb, a comma, and an independent clause. Can we repeat that? I want to make sure that you have the format. You remember the format. Okay? Ready? Independent clause. Independent clause. Semicolon. Very good. And you see the punctuation? 
completion right there. The first clause, the semicolon, conjunctive adverb, comma, and the second sentence. Right? The next one, the next one, Audrey, would you read it for us in loud and clear, please? Today is a hot day. There will be no PE class. Today is a hot day. Accordingly, there will be no PE class. Again, can you tell me the punctuation on the bottom sentence, Richard? What is our punctuation? Yes, an independent clause followed by by semicolon. Semicolon. A conjunctive adverb. A conjunctive adverb, comma, and independent clause. Very good. An independent clause, a semicolon, a conjunctive adverb, comma, and an independent clause. Very good. Now it's your turn. I'm going to hand you a strip uh, so you can write your sentence. Okay? Think of two sentences while I get the sentence strips. Two sentences, two independent sentences, two independent clauses that we can join together with one of these conjunctive adverbs. Okay? Start thinking. Start thinking. You know, you can write it in your paper if you like. And I'm going to hand you two colors so that you can mark your punctuation in a different color, okay? Carl, tell us, what is the situation that we have in the picture, Carl? The situation is built in on the shirt. This ink is still on the shirt, huh? So the situation... As a result, the, uh, there's a... There's a stain on the shirt. Very good. Write it down. I gave you two colors because I want the punctuation in a different color. Circle the conjunction adverb, please. The conjunctive adverb, please circle it. Uh, Julie. Um, just the thing is true. Uh, just the thing is true. Very good. Josh spilled the ink on his shirt. Consequently, he has to change his shirt. There is a flat tire. The situation is a flat tire. Are we ready? Let's see. Just tell loud and clear. My mom had a flat tire. Consequently, she can't get me up from school. Very good. But the only problem that I 